My name is Grant, I'm 29, and I am a student slash yoga instructor. But I'm living in uh, Los Angeles, West Hollywood to be exact. I used to play in the NFL for about four and a half, five years um, with San Diego. Started in San Diego, went to Denver, and then stopped off in Tennessee for a year. And then uh, called it quits after that. <laughs> I didn't like living in a suitcase too much. <laughs> I had to leave the NFL. Um, one, because I really didn't like moving around so much, and two, uh, I had a hip injury that required surgery. So, Hip surgery, yeah, as a wide receiver, it makes it a little tough to run. And um, just didn't want to do it anymore. I just worked fight through the pain of year after year of just grinding through it. So I would like to play with my kids one day, you know, <laughs> and not have to hobble around. Yoga I've been doing for about two and a half years, um, and it's it's forced me to dive inside myself and actually figure out why I act certain ways. And uh, it allowed me to see that I, you know, for the most part, my entire life had been um, being controlled or my emotions were being controlled by, you know, other people. I was letting other people dictate how I reacted. And, um, it, it allowed me to, like I said, find myself and actually now, I, you know, I'm grounded and know who I am. You know, if I came out here, you know, say two years ago, even a year ago, I would be a completely different person. Playing, but I, I, it, it feels like a lifetime ago when I was playing in the NFL just because I don't really, that person doesn't really exist anymore, you know? Survivor and NFL, specifically training camps, have a lot in common in you know, regards to you're mentally and physically pushed um, to limits that you normally wouldn't be. Um, you're constantly stressed out because you don't know, in the NFL, you don't know if you're going to be gone the next day, right? Here, you don't know if you're going to be gone you know, the next day or the day after, whatever, you know, after a challenge. Um, and it's not so much of a sociological game as it is, or this is more of a sociological game than, you know, in the NFL, but still, if you're living with, for four or five weeks with, you know, your team, you know, you kind of, there's, you got to socialize, right? Or else you're just going to be on the outskirts. But it's the same thing, I think, here. So it'll be interesting to see once I really dive into it to see what the, how really, you know, uh, similar they are. Uh, my strategy, obviously, I think I've got to kind of mark on me already just because of my size, I think. And I think I don't want that to become a threat. I'm going to be, be useful, be friendly, be the nice guy, right? Um, for the beginning uh, portion of it. And then obviously I'll have a better idea of who I'm playing with and the personalities and how I can, you know, fit in with them. And then um, if it comes to having to, you know, go behind somebody's back and manipulate and that stuff, it's, you know, it's part of the game. You know, it's not, it's not life. Some people think that, you know, this out here, you know, directly relates to their life. Um, at the end of the day, it is a game. Um, I mean, there are some aspects I get it, life in this, right? But uh, I don't think there's a way to do this without hurting somebody. <laughs> and I plan on being there at the end, so. So uh, winning the million dollars would uh, be a great thing for me. I would like to open up uh, my own yoga studio and uh, I'd like to start a family. Uh, with my lovely significant other. So I'm gonna win Survivor through my mental toughness, physical toughness and challenges, and a disarming smile <laughs> to wriggle past everybody. The thing that I think might be a problem for me is I might be a little too nice and see the good in somebody that might not necessarily be the good in somebody, you know? So that's gonna be a tough battle for me um, is letting people uh, letting people in and actually believing that the other person's letting me in as well. So I think that'll be the main thing for me. Yeah, I practice yoga on a daily basis and, you know, meditation as well, which I'll bring out there with me as well, you know, too. Um, just for my own personal benefit of, of staying grounded and staying, not getting pulled, pulled in 50 million different directions, you know, from, uh, from people who I know it's going to start getting crazy because everyone's going to start scrambling, right? So. I feel like if I can stay grounded and emotionally detached, I'm golden. I packed on a little bit of extra weight before I came, so I'm good to lose a few pounds. Um, so I think I'll be all right with not eating a lot of food out here. Um, in fact, I think it would be a benefit if there was less. I mean, if there was no food, you know, because that's when really people start quickly self-destructing inside themselves, right? And all for I've been I've, I've pushed myself to limits um, obviously not starve myself but through 
this is where the NFL comes in. You know, you push yourself to a point where not a lot of people have gone. And everybody, like, you know inside, you know how far you've pushed yourself. And so this is no different out here, you know, be it a, uh, working yourself out to a point of exhaustion or not eating to a point of exhaustion, right? Same thing, I think, so.